Why? Every time, every time we say, hey, this is not okay. Hey, can you please stop? Hey, 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 hey. Every time we say that, it's a problem. You give me another thing I need to worry about. You give me another cause that is better than mine, greater than mine, more important. Another reason that I should have to be quiet. Real life sunshine. Oh, you fine, fine. Like you got angels in your bloodline. Ah, I just want to see you shine. Just give me a sign. I'm trying to get in time I'm with your waistline. If I let you fuck, it's going to be a problem. I'm just being honest. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know a lot of you um, have been hearing and seeing the strikes, the protests, the looting, and everything under the sun when it comes to George's um, untimely passing. Or, you know, as I would like to call it, murder. And I've seen a lot of these arguments passing up and a lot like just a lot of arguments are coming up concerning black lives matter and blue lives matter and i am just here to clarify some things with the movement i'm not saying i'm the movement spokesperson like somebody personally called me and said joe desi get on this camera and make a video but i'm letting you guys know because you guys got some stuff all the way messed up hold up gotta see if my nose ring is right guys y'all y'all love coming at me about this damn nose ring with with quarantine over i could get a new nose ring until then you know the place is as closed i don't know what y'all want from me all right sorry so when we're speaking about these two different groups and these groups are very different no you cannot be a black lives matter supporter and be a blue lives matter supporter it's not a thing you can't really do it i'm sorry i'm very sorry it's not like you can't do it because at the situation, like at this time, it's become a very, very much us against them sort of thing. And I know, I know, I know, I understand that you feel like, hey, you can do both because it's America. No, it ain't. It's past that time because we need to remember, one, how this started in recent times and then how it started in the past so how this started was with Kala Kaepernick taking a knee and saying listen I'm gonna do a peaceful protest y'all fired him y'all dragged him everyone under the sun was talking like everybody was talking about him people were standing with him people weren't standing with him people were saying how dare you how disrespectful we tried the peaceful way what changed Comment below. Tell me what changed. When we decided to take a knee, every time that that Pledge of Allegiance played, the National Anthem, we said, okay, we're going to take a knee. We're not going to salute the flag until police brutality changes. What exactly changed from that peaceful protest? Because I see people saying, hey, Black Lives Matter, you, you look how Martin Luther King, he didn't do this. He didn't do that. He didn't do this. My eyes like, drive me crazy. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. He didn't do this. But y'all killed him anyway. So what are y'all telling us to do? Be angry quietly? We tried. What y'all want us to do is really grin and bear it. So when I'm telling you somebody is kicking my butt and you sit there and like kicking my butt, they're killing people that look like me, they're doing all this stuff. When I'm telling you that and your response is that their life matters too, their life is not the one in danger. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. That's why I say you can't be on both sides it's time to pick a side and i think half of the nation has picked a side and they're like hey this man is killed and then you release the autopsy and the autopsy says pre-existing conditions he has a weak heart or whatever yeah you know what didn't help his weak heart being strangled basically for nine minutes being suffocated for nine minutes that didn't help it comes a time where you have to pick a side. It can't just be, oh yeah, no, I understand. It's both. And I see a lot of my friends from the Caucasus Mountains and they're trying to do both. They're trying to say, hey, this isn't right, but also this isn't right. And blah, blah, blah. Like, and posting police officers with bloody noses and blah, blah, blah. That's fine. You're posting bloody noses. The other side is posting dead bodies. You'll get over it. You'll be fine. 
Take off the uniform. Quit your job then. Because at the end of the day, it's a job. If it becomes more than you sign up for, you can quit. Because you signed up. So guess what? This isn't the first riot. This isn't the first protest. So if you have a problem, if it's such a big deal, it's such an inconvenience, if you can't handle it, quit your job. Because it's a job. Blue lives matter. It's no, there's, unless aliens come down and they blue, there's no such thing as blue lives matter. Because nobody's blue. So, I repeat, and I said what I said. If there's an issue with the job that you signed up for, quit the job that you signed up for. Because all it is, it's sort of in the job description. Just saying, it's not it's nothing that was not in the job description. Riots, protests, everything, that has been from the beginning of time. From the beginning of the civil rights movement. And guess who they called to deal with us? It was the police. So when you saw that, you know your history. Police officers are very educated. I know y'all all went to college. Y'all saw, y'all knew, guess what? When people are rioting, this is what we're going to do. This, this is what we have to do. But they're rioting against you. And instead of trying to fix things in the department, what you guys are doing are pepper spraying and and running over people with cars that have a point and no it's not just one police officer if it was one police officer we would have been riding in front of his house when nations and countries and and states all across the globe I know states are only in America, whatever. But when they're all across the globe, they all understand, hey, this was not right. I saw the video. You can't spin it to me. You can no longer lie to me. I am appalled. It's a problem. All of a sudden, the Blue Lives Matter campaign starts up. Being blue is a job. It's something you sign up for. Being black is not a job. It's not something somebody signs up for. There is absolutely no way for me to take off my skin and not be identified as a black person because I am not white passing at all. I can never. Maybe over the phone. How is that going to save my life for when I get pulled over? When body cams mysteriously stop working and they don't work and there's no footage. How is that going to save my life? Or when I'm trying to help out another brethren that is on the floor or that's on the floor about to lose their life because blue lives matter so much more, right? When they're about to lose their life and I pull out my phone to record and now I'm in danger of losing mine. How? There's no such thing as blue lives matter it's time to pick a side if your side is theirs it means you agree with everything that they're doing and that's just it so yes my side is black lives matter so yes you know what i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna stand by the riots i'm gonna stand by the protests i'm gonna stand by the burning target down because you know what we tried to say it silently we tried the silent protest you called us un-american you said it was unconstitutional you called us ignorant and stupid so now when we want to burn shit to the ground what now what now because when we whisper it to you and when we whisper hey this is what we want and we tried it the way dr king did we tried it that way by kneeling we tried but guess what Malcolm X was a great civil rights leader too and you know what I'm not that upset that people are choosing to go this way and that they're not whispering for their rights anymore they're screaming their rights and I'm overjoyed that states that are majority Caucasian are also saying hey you know what enough is enough because it is enough I don't know why 
our lives doesn't matter to you i don't know why when we stand up and we say hey this isn't fair and guess what it's never been fair and look we've been arguing over these same things for a hundred years now since 1865 the end of slavery we've been arguing to be treated equal not even equitable equal just give us the same access give us the same that's all we've been arguing for for hundreds of years and we tried it quietly. We tried it. We tried peaceful, non-violent communication. We tried all of that. Every single thing. And then you will sit here. And there will be people that sit here and look in our faces and tell us that this doesn't exist. Racism doesn't exist. Why does slavery... I, one of my... Somebody I know was quoted as singing... I'm going to quote them as saying, why do black people care so much about slavery? It's not even like everybody, uh, anyone they knew was a slave. What? How about somebody the, my grandma knew? How about my grandma? Like, what are you talking about? That's the justification? So do you go around saying, hey, I don't know why Jews care so much about the Holocaust. Because like, it's not like anybody they know was a victim of the Holocaust. Mind you, our communities are still in danger today from stuff that happened there. And you're always wanted to speak about another thing. Always wanted to speak about black on black crime. You know white people kill each other too? Do you know Muslims kill each other too? Do you know Hispanics kill each other too? Do you know Asians kill each other too? It's natural for the most amount of killings to be with people that look like each other because they spend the most time around each other. So you know what? If I live in an all-white neighborhood and I'm white, chances are Becky from down the street is going to piss me off and I'm going to want to kill her. Chances are. But And if I live in an all-black neighborhood, chances are Mary from down the street is going to piss me off and as a black person, I'm going to kill her. Chances are. Not because I'm more violent or less violent. It's because these are the people I'm interacting with the most. So these are the people that that can do something to me, right? These are the people that can tick me off and drive me to the point of wanting to kill somebody. And they happen to be white because I live here. They happen to be Hispanic because I live with them. They happen to be black because I live here. And that is just it. So trying to pretend like there is some major... So I don't know why I'm swinging this damn mirror around. But try to pretend like there's some major hitting whatever. Like, no. That's natural. It's very much so natural. But you're trying to use it as an excuse as to why people don't deserve to be treated equally in the eyes of the law? Like, don't need to treat us equally in the eyes of the law. Are you telling any other group? That they should stop murders between people that that look like each other in order to get respect and not be treated like an animal. Wait, worse than an animal because when that woman was dragging around that damn dog in Central Park, where's her dog? Rights taken away, dragged by everyone, PETA, ASPCA, whoever the hell has to deal with animals. Yeah, dragged by everyone. So what exactly are you treating us like? And why every time, every time we say, hey, this is not okay. Hey, can you please stop? Hey, 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 hey. Every time we say that, it's a problem. You give me another thing I need to worry about. You give me another cause that is better than mine, greater than mine, more important. Another reason that I should have to be quiet. When we've been quiet and all it does is grant permission. So no, I don't care that your local target was burned down. I don't care that your local precinct was vandalized. I don't. Only thing I do care about is, and remember, during the purge, they did this too. If your business is black owned, you should not be destroying a business that is black owned during this time or a small business 
that is minority owned. You should not be destroying st small businesses at this time. A mom and pop shop or even white owned small businesses. You got to come at these corporations because these corporations are the ones that, one, have, they pay money in order to influence the laws that are made. They put people in office by backing their campaigns. And they're responsible for things that are happening in our communities. So guess what? If you say, we're reclaiming here. If you say, we're reclaiming here. Sorry, my nose ring again. If you say, we're reclaiming here and you say, you know what? I can't do this. Target, you gotta go. Walmart, you gotta go. Target or Walmart, they got enough money to rebuild. You could burn down Amazon distribution centers. Amazon got enough money. Jeff Bezos got enough money to rebuild. Your independent business owner, the person that only has one store and they saved up all their money to get that one store. Like, it's not that hard to realize what's a chain and what's not a chain. But if it's the Gucci store, burn it down. I don't care. Like, I don't care. You steal a Honda. Whatever you got to do. I don't really see how it's helping. But you know what? Debauchery then. Debauchery. Because y'all need to understand why this is happening. So, y'all don't understand when we don't act crazy. So, now that we want to act crazy. And I'm not saying black people want to act crazy. I'm saying everybody that's supporting the movement, they fed up. Because I know y'all see the riot videos. and it's, it's white people running in our target too. It's Spanish people. It's Asian people. Everybody running with they stuff. They like, hey, what up? It's looting time. So... If that's what it takes to get the message across to y'all to make change, this is the first time I've heard a governor say on TV, thank you, Governor Cuomo, that he supports the rioters, that he supports Black Lives Matter, that he understands there's a problem. That's the first time I've ever heard it in my lifetime. And thank you. It means something's working. And that's just it. And, you know, all my writers, all my looters, everything, I need you to just go ahead, wear a face mask, be safe. Because he, Governor Cuomo said New York is open up June 8th, and I don't need nothing that stops that. So I'm going to need you to hand sanitizer, everything to keep my outside from closing back up. Thank you so much. All right, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And your girl, we'll see you a little bit later.